Hey guys, this video is going to introduce you to an indicator that's very simple to use. Maybe you've heard it before, key phrase, and that is VWAP, V-W-A-P, and it stands for the Volume Weighted Average Price. What this indicator tells us is the average price that all trades have occurred at when accounting for dollar volume. So an example trade sequence and how the VWAP would change is listed here. So say you got a trade going through at 100 shares, $100.50. Well, that's $10,000, $10,050. So your VWAP, it's the first trade, it's $100.50. However, your next trade is for 50 shares at $100.55. That's $5,027.50. And that changes your VWAP to 1000 uh, sorry, $100.51. Notice a normal average between these two prices, 150 and then 155, would be 100.525. That's, you know, the average if we add these up and then divide them together. However, this is why VWAP is useful because it accounts for the dollar volume. Since 100 shares is obviously greater than 50 shares, it puts more weight on this price as opposed to this price, which means our VWAP is going to be closer to this price as opposed to this price, and it's not going to be split in the middle. Now, if this was also 100 shares, then our VWAP would have been $100.52.5. So you keep going along 75 shares at 143, that lowers the VWAP a little bit. 100 shares, 137, that really lowers it because, again, greater amount of shares, brings it back down. Notice though, now our next trade is at 149 cents, but it's only 40 shares. That's why you don't have much change in the VWAP here. Same thing with the next trade, 30 shares at 160 cents. Big change in the price per share, moved up 11 cents, but our VWAP only moves by about a penny. But on the very next trade, 100 shares, much greater amount, 166 cents, now our VWAP gets a big jump of four cents almost. So VWAP is nice because it can help tell us when there's a lot of money going through versus when it's just smaller trades going through where maybe we get tricked into thinking, oh, this, this stock's really moving higher. But if it's not moving higher on a lot of money, then it's not as strong as it is if it's moving higher on a lot of money flowing into the stock. So the simple equation is the total number of shares traded, in this case it was 495, divided by the total amount of dollars associated with each trade. It was like 40, $49,750, and that gives us an ending VWAP of $100.50.58. What's nice is our platforms can compute this automatically for us and always keep track of it throughout the day. VWAP is ever-changing, and as we saw in our example, large orders have a much greater impact on VWAP than small orders. Now, when a stock is uptrending on the day, you'll usually see that VWAP offers support on dips, and when a stock is downtrending on the day, you'll see that VWAP offers resistance on rallies. And on the strongest or weakest days, a stock might not even come back to the VWAP, whereas on non-trend days, when we're just kind of sideways, a stock might spend a lot of time floating on either side of VWAP. As with most things, the best way to understand this is by looking at examples. So I've got a three-minute chart of Amazon with a VWAP line plotted in blue here. And I want to show what was a very strong day a few weeks ago in Amazon. You had two back-to-back -back days. And one thing to know on VWAP, I have my platform so that it resets each day. So it's not carrying over from one day to the next. So here's Amazon. And what I'll point out is right away on this day, Amazon gaps higher. And notice the rally is coming as VWAP is increasing. VWAP is uptrending as the price is uptrending, which makes sense because as the price goes higher, we have shares going through at higher and higher prices. So VWAP goes higher. Check this dip out right here 
at 10 o'clock. The stock comes right down to VWAP, and this is exactly what you want to see on an uptrend day. Gets down to that volume weighted average price and gets a terrific bounce off of it. And then tries to come back down to it here, doesn't even get all the way down before bouncing back up. And that's an example where on the strongest, weakest days, the stock might not even come back to that volume weighted average price all the way. Amazon did that right there, came back initially, but then on the second test here, doesn't come all the way back down, and you can see it's just uptrending steadily all day long. Then the next day, we have a slight dip underneath VWAP at the open, but then it regains it right away, gets a nice push higher, and then the same thing right here, touches it and just gets a terrific bounce off of it, and then doesn't come back to it at all the rest of the day, indicative of a very strong day when the stock's not even coming back to VWAP. And notice VWAP does continue to uptrend along with the stock. The reason it's important to see VWAP uptrending and going higher as the stock goes higher is because that's how you know there's still a lot of money coming into the stock. If the stock is going higher but VWAP is barely budging, then you know there's not actually a ton of money coming into the stock. It's more that there is just not a lot of supply in the stock. VWAP is a good indicator of what demand is doing when a price is rising. If VWAP isn't going up that much as a stock is going up a lot, then you know demand isn't rising that much. It's just that there's very little supply, which is allowing the stock to go higher. Now we have the opposite effect if you look at a stock moving to the downside. So this is Qualcomm, QCOM. And you can see here, this started with a gap down and right away comes beneath VWAP. And then look at this touch right here, gets rejected right at VWAP. And then here doesn't even come up to it, tries to, here doesn't even come up to it, tries to again. Okay, so two good areas, well really three, one, two, three areas where VWAP did what you wanted it to do in terms of the short trade where the stock's not able to get back above VWAP. Again, on a downtrend day, you want VWAP to be downtrending, you want it to be going lower. However, notice in the middle of the day, we started to kind of flatline in VWAP around here. And notice now Qualcomm has flatlined, got above it a little bit, tested it again here, tested it again here. And we talk about VWAP when we start to get that flatline on the VWAP and the price is floating on either side of it, that's an example of a non-trend day. We'll look at some good examples of non-trend days in Google since she likes to not trend a lot. So here we have Google from a few days ago where the stock opens, goes beneath VWAP, then it comes above VWAP, can't hold VWAP, comes beneath it, comes above it, beneath it, back to it, back above it, back beneath it. Okay, not a clear trend, right? Sometimes you're above it, sometimes you're beneath it. Maybe you're staying below it for 10 minutes, maybe you're coming back above it for five minutes. Overall, very different than that Amazon example we looked at, where it was just clearly staying above it to the upside. And you want to see reactions from VWAP within the first 30 minutes of the day to signal that it's going to be a clean day, just like we saw from Amazon. On Google here, when you get this action the first 10 minutes of the day where it's beneath VWAP right here, but then above it, and then back, back beneath it the first 30 to 60 minutes of the day, this whole action here starts to look like a mess. All right, that is not what you want to see in terms of saying, hey, this looks like a clean trend day to the upside. We're going to look at Tesla from a few weeks ago and see some good examples of a clean trend day to the upside from Tesla. Here you are, stock opens. VWAP is supportive right away. Right away we get a supportive VWAP. 
nice extension higher then we have a pullback back down but VWAP is supportive right there all within the first 30 minutes of the day or so that's an example of hey this has a chance to be a very clean continued uptrend day and sure enough you get nice continued upside off of VWAP all day VWAP flatlines a little bit right here Tesla sideways during that same period VWAP starts to uptrend again right here Tesla starts to uptrend again right there good example there of a clean day where VWAP gave you some good signals on the action the first 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes of the day. If VWAP is being respected in a very clean manner, then you know there's greater potential for a clean trend day to the upside if we're going higher or to the downside if we're going lower. So start using VWAP if you're not already. See if you like it. It can give very good signals. The other thing you want to look for is when a stock regains VWAP in the middle of the day. We had an example of that for Google here when it's regaining it or losing it. So Google's interesting on this day because it starts out with a really nice reaction above VWAP and then it comes down to VWAP right here where it's looking like it's maybe going to hold but then it kind of breaks lower and negates whatever trade might have been there. So once you lose VWAP kind of seeing okay well the long trade is over for now and until it can regain and show a reaction off of VWAP. VWAP flatlines Google flatlines. Right here though it starts to regain VWAP and then we see a nice upside reaction. So at this point now the trade's back in play and notice VWAP starting to uptrend slightly. Google now starting to uptrend again. So not only can you use it the first 30 minutes of the day to look for those signals, you can also use it once you hit the afternoon hour to see is a stock coming back into play and maybe going to be giving some afternoon action. If a stock has some good space between VWAP and the current price, then you know, hey, there's some potential for some real action here versus if a stock is just kind of flatlining around VWAP, kind of like how Netflix is on this day. If I'm deciding between Netflix or Google, I'd rather go with Google because I've seen VWAP start to give a little trend again, whereas Netflix is, you know, within... 30 cents of VWAP or so and VWAP's kind of flatlining. Now if this VWAP starts downtrending slightly that would lend some credence to maybe Netflix starting a further downtrend again but until that happens I'd rather trade a stock like Google which is showing me better VWAP signals than a stock like Netflix during these afternoon hours. So good luck for me to enter VWAP I just insert strategy or sorry insert analysis technique and it shows up in my analysis group probably a little bit different on your platform but look for it in either your analysis groups or your indicator windows